Well, I'm here at the launch of the fabulous new musical, and it seems odd to say new musical for something that's 76 years old. I am, of course, talking about Top Hat, and I'm with the two stars of the show. It's uh, Tom and Summer. Thank you so much for talking to me. Thank you. No, thank you for having us. We had a terrific launch a little while ago, didn't we? And I think the enthusiasm of the audience pretty much gives you an indication as to how well the show's going to go. <laughs> Maybe this is the, uh, the lucky bit where we get to kind of mess around with it because we really were just having a lot of fun with people getting them up and dancing with them and doing a few numbers from the show. So when we come to the actual job itself, it has got to be seriously... Um, well, Summer's a, a perfectionist anyway, so no, and I'm, I'm, I'm just right behind her. So yeah, it, it will be, but the material is so much fun, so hopefully it'll be great. It's very difficult really to talk to you both about a show that you've not yet even done the rehearsals for, but of course you know the songs, uh, and I guess just seeing you perform those three numbers upstairs, it's a really, it's a, it is a labour of love I guess for both of you. Oh yeah, I mean Tom and I, I think I can speak for Tom saying that we are both very passionate about Fred and Ginger Rogers, uh, Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers, and um, you know they've been idols of ours, you know when we were growing up, and um, like Kenny Wax basically wants to sort of bring those classic films back, to, you know, uh, into our, the, the new generation because they will be lost, and I think Fred and Ginger won't. People won't know who they are, who they were, um, and um, so it's a perfect opportunity to do that. I mean, Tom obviously been in Holby and winning Strictly Come Dancing, which is amazing, and then me doing the Hollyoaks stint that I did and and things like that. It, it's just a sort of a good, a great way of bringing these classic movies back into the new generation. And, and I guess um, I know we talked earlier on about your fascination. For for example, with Fred Astaire, um, I think to step into their, their, their footsteps quite literally for the first time, because this is the other thing that I didn't know until today, that this show has never been performed as a live musical before. Ever. It's, it's got to be daunting. Yeah. Anywhere in the world, yes. It, it's, it's immensely... It's like two, two of the greatest things handed on two separate plates, the honour and then the... And then the the, the terror, as in t terrifying, daunting prospect of that their material. They worked and worked and worked on it until it was Perfect. so good, yeah, for an audience, and that um, excited on the one hand, but then also just wanted to really give it as much as it can for for, for that uh, doing it justice, basically. Mm. And you've got uh, a few months now of rehearsal after a holiday, a few months rehearsal, and then it's going to be the first time for people, mostly, we're going to be able to see it here in the northwest of England in this theatre at the Lowry. Uh, and I guess, I, again, for everybody in this particular part of the, of the country, it's a real thrill. Yeah, it's going to be a, a treat because... Um because it hasn't been in the West End, it's not going to be a scaled down version. It's actually going to be the version that everybody will see when it does go into the West End. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's something mm. like nine trucks to bring in the set every uh, to each venue. And, and that's just your dressing room. That's that's just my yeah. costumes and my your, shoes just the feathers. and my eyelashes. <laughs> yeah. um, no, but um, we, we've already started uh, fighting over dressing rooms in different <laughs> venues. But um, I think we'll, the car park we'll, then. we'll just end up you're, in the you're, same you're dressing have a room. Winnebago. Yeah, my, come to my Winnebago. No, we're, um, I think we'll end up in the same room most of the time and with Claire and everything. So. We're already practically, we're lucky that uh, when you in our profession, it is so vital that you have um, some form of chemistry where you just you just understand each other and and you know there's no no ego is like just throw it out the window you know yeah. leave the toys in the pram so we really it's kind of like we're I was saying the other day it's like we've known each other for years and we really met and isn't that the secret because I said on stage earlier on that the chemistry on screen between Fred and Ginger was absolutely electric and so if you couldn't create that or if that wasn't a natural thing for the two of you it would have been very difficult mm. I think you uh, I think the difference between uh, mine and Tom's and c compared to Fred and Ginger's was that they worked and worked and worked together for so long whereas Tom and I haven't done anything together yet we're still sort of you know we've got that kind of connection already and we know that if we we're having a bad day we'll just leave the one of the you know yeah. <laughs> I'll leave him and and vice versa you know and, and we'll sort of be we can we can read each other and that's mm. always good especially in dancing as well and I, and I guess that will only increase in terms of your connectivity as each show goes on exactly, exactly. Mm, yes yes hopefully well, good luck with the show. I hope... <laughs> no, don't fight yet. We haven't even started. Um, good luck with the rehearsals. Good luck with the show. I look forward to seeing it on the opening night here. Um, Tom and Summer, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for having us.